point of order, the member from Burnaby South is a parliamentary leader of his party, and he should know this. I appreciate the comment. Member for Sandwich Gulf Islands on questions and comments? The Honourable Member for Windsor West, whom I admire enormously, and who, of course, his riding is ult in ultimately on the border, on the front line of tariffs and disputes and getting goods across our border. I'd be very interested to know if he has any comments. As Donald Trump has framed this as Canada is weak, we don't guard our border against floods of immigrants going to the United States or fentanyl going into the United States. I wonder if the Honourable Member for Windsor West has any observations on the failures of the U.S. border in letting guns into our country, letting drugs into our country. The Honourable Member for Windsor West. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you to my friend for that. And absolutely, this is um, a series of political advancements that have been used against uh, Canadian trading elements for a long period of time with no real significant pushback from uh, the Canadian government. And part of it's the failing. As I mentioned in my remarks, the Conservatives cutting over 100 uh, sorry, 1,100 uh, officers and also getting rid of some of the teams that work specifically on gun smuggling and drug smuggling and so forth affects it on two ways on the border. On top of that, there's been an order in council that would allow our border officers be uh, able to help the RCMP, and that has been sitting at the, uh, the government since 1932 without acting on it. So uh, when I was in Parliament before with another uh, 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 House session, we work to get our officers armed and to be also be equivalent with the United States in many respects because we wanted to avoid those practices that are used against us as a weapon, uh, as a saying that we're weak on our border. And lastly, Madam Speaker, uh, we have still deficient Marine in the Great Lakes. We have deficient um, uh, supports, but we need two to 3,000 officers. That's the bottom line, and that would also deflect some of this unfair criticism. Questions and comments, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Government House Leader. Yes, uh, Madam Speaker, as a general rule, the